far you are the best Green Lantern in the league. You're definitely the favorite for Flash team-ups. I'm a villain. Even, even I think you're cool. But I don't think Batman's cool. You're the only member of the league that I can't give any advice to because you're so perfect. What is up? How is Legion of Comic Collectors doing today? Welcome to another episode of Journey into Legends. This is the show where I take a look at Batman Legends of the Dark Knight, one story at a time. Today's story is three issues, issues 55 through 57, and the story is called Watchtower. We have Chuck Dixon writing, who in my opinion is the best Batman writer, best Batman family writer of all time, with art by Mike McMahon. So let's jump in and take a look at Watchtower. So tell me if any of this sounds familiar. Watchtower is set in the future where a man brings a private police force with high tech to watch over Gotham. Sounds familiar, right? And of course, Batman is looking for a criminal called the General and he is in the city of, in the part of Gotham protected by this police force, the Protectors. And in the course of trying to get this person out, he of course finds out this private police force is evil. And this story ends with a confrontation with them and their creator. All right, so that was Watchtower. I'm going to give this story three out of five bat signals. We see a lot of similarities to the future state story that happened recently. Instead of peacekeepers, you have protectors. You have the mastermind behind it who's actually evil and he doesn't like capes. A lot of similarities in my opinion. Not that this is a uh, super original idea. I would think future state blatantly ripped this off in my opinion. Story-wise, it's a good story. I think it's better than Future State in a lot of ways. But the art, oh my gosh. Terrible art. Kept me from maybe giving this a four. Uh, I'm not an art expert. I'm not into surrealism or any of that kind of stuff. I think superhero comics should have very specific art. Any, any other kind of art. It just isn't for superhero comic books. But... It's a great thing about this series. You don't like the story, you don't like the art. The art artists and writers change in next issue, so it is what it is. Anyway, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Have you read this story? What did you think of it? And as always, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not. And with that, I'll see you all next time.